besties, welcome back to another episode of my Nightmare 100 Baby Challenge. We have loaded in after Posey has just given birth to our new twins, Freddie and Mercury. And of course, she's ignoring them and just playing on the computer. Oh, you're actually going to look after them now, are you? Now that I've drawn attention to the fact that you were going to let your teenagers do it. Okay, Posey, you do you. But anyway, we have got almost a full household at the moment. We've got our two teenagers. We've got Honey. We've got April, who uh, aged up from Kids to Teens last episode. And we also have our toddlers, uh, Little Blue and August. Um, we really need to get them aged up this episode. And I'd also like to really get Posey pregnant as soon as humanly possible. It is currently night on the town, so I'm thinking we might actually just yeet her out, like, in a minute because we've got maybe an hour or something left of like the free food and drinks and maybe we'll get lucky and somebody will be around i don't know never know but last episode we did actually meet one of your guys' sims what was his name jams jams he was here he was around but i think he might have left very sad and the weather downstairs is awful so i mean but there's still a lot, a lot of people around actually considering how bad it is oh wait wait is that jams jams there he is. Jams is still here. Maybe I'll just load into, what is this? Is this a karaoke bar? Yeah, a karaoke bar. Let's just load into the karaoke bar and we'll bring James with us. And then hopefully that way, if we don't meet anyone interesting at the karaoke bar, we can at least get our relationship up with James. Okay, so James came with us and there is virtually no one else here. That's fine. Can we go and get a free drink though, please? That would be great. Did James leave? James left and there's no one around. This is so rude. And also the bartender doesn't want to come and make us a drink. And we've got like half an hour left of night on the town. So like that was a terrible flop idea. And honestly, I shouldn't have wasted my time with that. Oh, wait, James is over here. Let's go talk to him. Night on the town was awful. Look, I tried. Okay, I tried. The game was working against us, Posey. We were never going to get it. I'm sorry. I hate it when all these randoms start joining our conversation, okay? I just want to talk to Jams. I only want to talk to Jams. Let's stargaze with him. You know, one thing I guess we should probably do is see if she's got enough um, aspiration points or whatever it is to um, get, like, the beguiling trait because we really need that because we're struggling without it, okay? I, I relied on it too much and I didn't realize how much I relied on it until now. <laughs> so let's see what we've got. Um, oh, we don't have quite enough. Oh, damn. Okay, but we are really close to being able to unlock the guiling, though, which is good. So let's try and get that done this episode as well. Because, yeah, like, Posey's properness and clumsiness is making it so much harder to build relationships with people as well. He does seem to be accepting all of our flirty interactions, though, so that's good. Oh, good. She's finally got the option to first kiss with him. It only took us all night. Let's hope that this is successful. Yes. Mm, yes, awesome, beautiful. Oh, let's do all the kissing interactions. Suave kiss, yeah, we gotta, we gotta lock this down. Bold pick up line, let's just go for it. Oh, he's feeling very flirty. We're feeling very confident. Like, I like where this is going. Oh, he left, what? Okay, thanks so much for that, James. Why, 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 why? Well, rude of him to just leave when things were getting good, but, you know, that's men for you, I guess. All right, let's go home. Take care of these babies and maybe our needs a little bit. Uh, and we'll get James back over. So we're pretty much about to pass out. So let's let's go deal with that, shall we? Our babies seem to be okay. So thank you very much to our teens looking after them for us. Our toddlers, however, are very much worse for wear. Oh my god, I love it. I just selected for Posey to go look after the kids. And the teens just come in and go, no, we got this, mum. Don't even worry. Don't sweat it. We got this. Like, I actually kind of love that. That's going to make our lives so much easier if they just want to take over. Okay, and what skills do you have left to get? Imagination, potty thinking. Why are these kids taking forever to learn all their skills? Honestly, I just don't understand. All right, draw with Llama. Let's get this done. Hi, Posey. I'm from a sports club that's taken a recent PR here. So he wants us to join their sports team. Since when was Michael Bell the creature keeper? in the sports career <laughs> i can't see him being the super athletic type i just man it looks like it's august and bloom's birthday as well like tomorrow so we really need to get their skills moving like i don't know what it is about these babies but like these two in particular are, i'm really struggling to get their skills built up this time guys like all right you're done with your imagination you need 
He's got everything except for potty. All right, let's get some potty growing going then, shall we? What's cooking good looking? It smells great. Bella, babe, we can't have a baby with you, so I don't know what to do right now. Stop trying to just flaunt yourself to us all the time. It's just making me upset that we can't have your genes in our family pool. Also, Posey's knitting. Since when did you do that, honey? Like, that's fine, but I think I'd rather you potty train your bean, please. I guess you don't want to be disturbed. Not currently, honey. Oh, uh, Megumi, no. <laughs> Like, we're breaking up with all these sims as we're having kids with them, and they still just want Posey. Like, she's so intoxicating. They just want what they can't have. I'm sure of it. Awesome. Blue is now potty level two. This is great news because now we can get him on a potty grind. Also, can we get these babies in some onesies, please, Posey? I feel like that would be very cute. Which one is this? This is Mercury. So let's put Mercury in... Oh, maybe a uh, green and red. And then we'll put Freddy in the, like, oh, maybe in this teal one. That's cute. Oh, it's almost Freddy and Mercury's birthday. Good. Just I hate the babies, man. They're just so high maintenance. I mean, the toddlers aren't much better, but still. All right, let's go, man. Potty, potty, potty time. It's 2022 and we're still hitting up that potty grind. Oh, cute. The Finchwick Fair has started. <gasps> the oversized crop competition. Ainsley never got to do that. Why do I want to go and harvest one of her crops and see if we can win it for her? That would be a really nice way to kind of, you know, memorialize Knox and Ainsley by, you know, getting them to win a contest that they never could. Uh, I feel like I want to do it. All right, let's get Posey to do it. And you know what? Maybe we'll invite James to the fair as well. We're going to quickly drop off, though, at Ainsley's house. And I'm hoping these crops are still there because I didn't harvest them deliberately. So hopefully they should still be there in perfect condition because that's how they were when we left them. Okay, it looks like our oversized crops are still here. Brilliant. So let's harvest them both. So let's harvest crop and harvest crop oh betsy's still alive bless poor little betsy here by herself Knox and ainsley's graves aren't on the lot though so they must have died off lot somewhere i'd love to know where their graves are because i would really like to keep those but uh, this is a problem for future nikki all right let's get going to the fair and we'll invite jams okie dokie all right let's get this entered the oversized lettuce is perfect, whereas the pumpkin's perfect as well. The lettuce is 3.6 and the pumpkin is 31 kilos. How is the pumpkin worth so much less than lettuce? Look, I say we submit the pumpkin. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the pumpkin. Oh, no, this guy I've submitted a pumpkin. 31.93 and ours is... Oh, no. Oh, no, his is bigger than ours. And his is excellent, but if ours is perfect, does that mean ours is better? I really hope ours is better. Can we submit two? No. Uh, what if, what if, like, Honey or someone comes and submits the other one? Can we get that to happen? Does, will that work? <gasps> yes, Honey can enter one too. Honey, quick. We've got two shots at this. Let's do it. Oversized lettuce. Okay, awesome. We've got two chances to win this. Let's please win this. Please win this for Ainsley, you guys. Oh, they're so cute. Posey is so tired. Where is James? Here he is. Let's brighten his day. And honey, I mean, you've got to stick around now, love. So maybe you should make some friends or build some skills or something. And of course, Posey's passing out. Standard. Pretty, pretty uh, standard there. We've got honey over here having a little bop though, which is good. Because what is she into? She's into video games, painting, cooking and dancing. All right, good. Well, she seems to be enjoying her little dance, so maybe that can be her skill. All right, Posey's back in the land of the living. Let's get you to have a nap on a bench somewhere. Surely there's a bench around here, right? Here we go, bench. Quick, Posey. Come have a nap. Actually, that one's closer. Go to that one instead. Oh, my God, look! Honey just got given a gift from the mayor. Honey is Macy's faring friend today. She's happy to offer Honey a favor. What did she give her? A cottage pie? She must know that we've got starving toddlers at home. Thank you so much. I'll never get over how nice these, like, locals are. They're so nice. 
All right, so James is still here. He's inside having a little drinky poo, which is fine. But I don't actually think there's anywhere for us to woohoo here, which is so annoying. Oh, look. There's a woohoo bush. How'd that get there? <laughs> How'd that get in there? <laughs> well, at least now when Posey's conscious, we can maybe, maybe, maybe try for a little baby, maybe. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. All right, the festival is going to end in an hour or two, which means that we can go home and focus on those toddler skills a bit more. I don't think we've got the option yet to do woohoo with him, unfortunately. So let's go get him all flirty, and then we should have the option again, I'm hoping. Oh, we do have the option to try for baby and bush. Yes, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Isn't this romantic, though? Right in front of the fireplace being like, do you want to go outside and do it? <laughs> he looks pretty happy with himself, though. He's like, yeah. He thinks he's a superstar. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to leave your kids to it. And what's Honey up to? Oh, she's doing her homework. What a good little girl. We love it. These teens, they're stealing my heart, honestly. They're so good. Okay, Posey. What did Posey get? Posey got a black top hat. First place! <laughs> Posey got first place, which means Ainsley got first place. I'm actually so happy, like me getting teary over this like this actually means so much like Ainsley would be so so happy to know that her crop she got there you know like she it may not have been her that got to submit it but she did it you know I just I'm so happy oh my god honey got second so first and second place Ainsley's crops got first and second that is incredible I'm so happy with that I'm yeah that's just the best Back to the business, back to the business. Let's uh, quickly go and uh, take a pregnancy test, please, before you leave the lot. That would be great. Give us something good, Posey. Don't pee on the stick wrong. Yes! Yes! Oh, everything's truly coming up Millhouse this episode, you guys. I'm so happy. All right, so that means we can go home now too. This is how we do it. Mm, mm. This is how we do it. Getting stuff done. We're getting stuff done. This is how we do it. Okay, Posey, your needs are terrible. Go to sleep. How are our babies? Oh, they're doing so good. Come back and do your potty grind. Good boy. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't use diaper. Don't use diaper. Okay, and as for you, sir, how are you? Have you been working on your skills like a good little boy? What have you got left? Some thinking and some potty and imagination. So no, you haven't been doing nothing. Well, come do some potty ground with your little bro. Come do potty time with Brosif. There we go. And teens, I need your help, please. Oh, you're already in here dealing with it. Love that. Okay, we really need to display these awards that we've won as well. I think that that would be very important. There we go. Our first place ribbon or Ainsley's first place ribbon and the second place one as well. I don't think we've got any photos of Ainsley with her crops, which is a shame because that would have been really nice to put on the wall with it. Well, maybe last next time we go back to the house, we'll have to steal some. Beautiful. Good job, August. He's now potty level three. So you can stop your grind, sir. And for your skills, we've just got a little bit of thinking and imagination. So let's try and get that smashed out. Yes, and Blue is now potty level three as well. Good job, my little bean. And he's now level three of all skills, which means he can age up. Finally. Okay, Posey though, I'm gonna need you to bake a cake real quick. So no more eating pancakes. No more Bob pancakes for you. Oh my God, I love that Blue just came in and was like, I'll join them with the crying. And Honey's like, not you too. <laughs> oh man, this is bad. Come on. Come on, sir. You'll be fine. Okay, and the cake is done. Can you add some candles to that for me, please? Happy birthday. <laughs> I love it in midst eating cake. She's like... <laughs> love the dedication to the celebration. Absolutely love it. Okay, so where are you going to age up? Oh, I'm so excited to see what he looks like. Okay. All right. So first trait for blue is dog lover. Bless. Okay. I like that. And as for aspiration, pick a number one through four. 
It's one. It's one. Creativity. A little artistic. Artistic. Artistic prodigy. All right. You cool kid. I love that he's grown up wearing blue as well. That's so cute. All right. Can you add some birthday candles for me, please? Posey, no. Oh, oh, good. I was like so sure she was going to come and wreck the cake then. <laughs> I have trust issues, major trust issues. I don't know how you still manage to look that adorable and that happy when you're that smelly and tired. Precious bean, precious bean. Okay, thinking level three, amazing. Good, stop with the sim shake now, sir, and straight on to drawing with llama. You've got this, okay? You've got how much percent left? 25% left. And then I'll let you eat and sleep and everything else. Hey, neighbor, I'm bored. Do you want to hang out for a bit? Oh, my God. Bella, babes. You're killing me. You're actually breaking my heart. You have no idea how much I want you and our family. Hey, Posey, it's me, Jams. Do you want to go out on a date? Honey, we're, how do I nicely tell you that we're done with you now? No, thanks. Surely you're almost done, August. I'm so worried about your needs right now. Please tell me you're about to be done. Come on, dude. Six more percent. Hurry up. I'm stressed. Thank you so much, August. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's do this. Let's get this done. All right, Posey, let's do it. I know August is very hungry and it's Freddie and Mercury's birthday as well today. But come on, we just really, really need to get this little boo aged up. Oh, happy birthday, cutie. All right. Okay. 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 Monsieur August, your first trait is child of the ocean. Okay. Interesting. And aspiration. Pick a number one through four. It's one. One. Another creative child, an artistic prodigy. I said it correct that time. <laughs> an artistic prodigy. Cool. Oh, um, <laughs> love the long locks, my dude. Love it. Okay. Okay, sir, let's get you to look after yourself and eat and sleep and poop. Oh, no, he just wet himself. That's got to be embarrassing. You just learnt to use the potty and then you've unlearnt it in the span of two minutes. And I think that he's about to pass out as well. Yep. I mean, I feel pretty guilty right now, but look, we got him aged up. That was the main thing, okay? <gasps> what is going on down here? Did you see the plus signs there with the romance? <gasps> All I did was come down to see what's going on with her because I could see that it looks like she's been bitten or something. She's not well. And then I, I see this. She's just floating it up in the street. Who is this guy? <gasps> Caden. His name is Caden. She's got a little bit of romance with him and she's fairly friendly with him. And I mean, he needs a bit of a makeover in terms of clothes and haircut, but he's pretty cute. I love that for you, April. Oh my God. Yes. She's still pulling even though she's not feeling that best. That's that this girl got some skills. She must have got it from Ainsley because she certainly didn't get it from Posey. <laughs> On who did this? Why do I feel like it was you, you little angry redhead, August? Oh, man. I'm going to give the twins a makeover, by the way. I haven't forgot about that. I just figured we'd wait for the other set of twins to age up and we can do them all in one go. Poor little Blueberry is feeling hurt from somebody nearby. Something's happened when I haven't noticed it again. Who is it that's hurt him this time? Oh, my God, it's from August. He's hurt. Oh, they must have had a little fight or something. I did not see that happen, though. That's sad. I hope they can patch it up. Hi, Posey. I'm calling to let you know that your family member, Kalani Elikapika, has passed away. I don't actually know who that is. So I, I'm hoping that doesn't mean that Posey's going to be too sad about it. Posey just said, I love challenging myself. Well, that's a good thing that you're in a hundred baby challenge then, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, great. And who just broke the sink? Far out. I bet it was you, wasn't it, honey? So you can go repair it. Hey, neighbor, can you kindly keep the noise down? We are being so quiet compared to y'all. You guys are the ones that are noisy, not us, okay? Clearly, you're a terrible, inconsiderate neighbor. You just made a big mistake and I'll remember this. Is that a threat? Honestly, bring it. Like, do your worst. I don't know what you're going to do, but I, I don't feel like we're that scared of you. 
And surprisingly, all of our kitties seem to be in pretty good shape for the uh, first day back at school today, which is good. So let's hope that we can get everybody moved up a grade. That's all I want. We're not expecting any A's today. You know, that would be bonus. But even just B's, like I'll be, ha I'll, I'll be a very happy and settle for B's, okay? Okay, it's good to see the two brothers getting along. Well, they appear to be getting along. I hope they're getting along. That's good. I hope that they can get that sentiment erased. Off to school we'll go. Do me proud, little ones. That includes you, April. Get your butt going. Come on. Posey got promoted from posting three photos on Instagram. But anyway, I'm glad she got promoted because we've got some extra money coming in. We've got a bonus. And we've also got a Willardale High Boy dresser. Okay, and we're not actually going to use that, but sure thing. All right, so she's now a culture columnist. Awesome. <gasps> okay, we just had so much happen at once. Firstly, the two twins just aged up. And also, April wants to invite over Caden up to school. And I'm going to allow it because I think that they're very cute together. And I can't believe our little beans just aged up. This is so good. And by the sounds of it, somebody also got a gray A grade in school. So let's see. Well, I guess we'll get to that in a minute. All right, Mercury, what's your first trait going to be? All right, manifesting time, everybody. Please not fussy. Please not clingy. Please not fussy. Please not clingy. Angelic. Thank you so much, Sim Gods. Oh, you one. All right. Can we manifest the same luck, though, for Freddy? Ugh, just crossing every limb of my body. It was too good to be true. I jinxed it. Well, look, at least Mercury is going to be well-behaved, okay? Just trying to see the positives right now. <laughs> Okay, so Honey's already an A-grade student, which is absolutely freaking insane, because that means we can actually age her up and out this episode, and April's a B, cool, and Blue is a B student, and August must be a C student, okay, we're actually killing it this episode, I can't even, you guys. So if we move out Honey like sooner rather than later as well, maybe that will give us more of a chance of potentially having two babies? I don't know if that will work or not, but let's pretend it does. So I'm going to quickly save and then nip into cats and we'll look at all our beans and then move honey out. Okay, so Blue is friggin' adorable. I think he's going to be so cute. He's cute even pre-makeover. Like, he's, he's only going to get better. And August, like, other than the hair, is also adorable. Like, the hair's just throwing me off because all I'm ever going to think of now is his long red hair. <laughs> but he is so cute as well. And then let's take a look at Freddy and Mercury. So, Freddy is so cute. What colour hair do you actually have, darling? So, he's got brown hair. Okay. And what about Mercury? Mercury's got blonde hair and, like, black brows. Okay. I don't know. Either way, it's makeover time. All right. So after a quick makeover, here are the boys. So this is little Blue. He is so precious and adorable. And I just really want to squeeze his cheeks through the screen. He is so cute. And I do. he does have little braces. Not that he's going to let you see them, but he does. And he grew up with them. And you know what? I let him keep them because ah, so cute. And I let him keep like a little blue outfit. He was wearing blue when he aged up as well as the fact of like, I need to be able to tell these twins apart, okay? And him wearing blue, his name being blue, like, it's a no-brainer. And this is his brother, August, and he's a little bit more suave, a little bit more kind of cool-looking, sophisticated, but that doesn't mean anything. He's a child of the ocean. He's going to go real surfy as he gets older. But for now, I feel like this look really suits him. I don't know what it is about it. It just does, okay? It spoke to me. <laughs> I hope you like it. Now, as for Freddie and Mercury, they were very interesting. They actually looked really pale originally, but once I took all their skin details off, they were actually like fairly sort of dark skin, which makes sense because both Posey and Joel had a sort of darker skin tone. So this is little Freddie. Now, call me crazy, but does this kid not look a little bit like a young Freddie Mercury or am I completely losing it? Like I'm looking at this kid and I'm seeing like young Rami Malek vibes from the um, 
queen movie, you know? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking into it too much and I'm just too obsessed with the name and the musician. But is what it is. I think he's freaking adorable and he just looks like a lot older than he should be, you know? Like, he doesn't look like a toddler. He looks like he should be, like, wearing a business suit and, like, taking on the world, you know, with his law firm or something. I don't know. But he is so freaking adorable. And this is his sister, Mercury. Isn't she beautiful? She is so freaking cute. I love her. And that's everybody all made over. I really hope you do love them. I had so much fun making them over because pretty much anything and everything they wore, they looked good in. So it was hard, but it was fun. All right. Now that everybody's all CC'd up and beautiful, we can age up Honey and get her moved out as well. So my darling Honey, come blow out some candles for me. Happy birthday, Queen. Oh, where did you go? She yeeted all the way over into the toddler room to grow up. What? I don't even know. But anyway, Honey has aged up and she's got one final trait to go. And it's going to be... <laughs> Slav. <laughs> she's an interesting one, isn't she? She's an evil, unflirty slob who wants to be a chef. Like, I don't know how that's going to go. You're going to be poisoning cupcakes and your kitchen's going to be a mess. I don't think you're going to make it, but you know what? You've got your dreams. You do you, honey. I'd love to see you pull it off. I really would. And honey, let's get you a career and then we can get you moved out. She's the first of our new kids to move out, you guys. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm thinking straight up, let's give her a career in the culinary career track so she can get started on that lifelong ambition of being a master chef. I hope Gordon Ramsay does not come at you because I fear for his life if he does. <laughs> all right. So she's all done now. She's a bit stanky. Let's get her to have a quick shower and then we'll have to do her photo as well. I almost forgot about the photos. We can't give that up now. We've been doing so good with them. Oh my god, you guys, look at her. She is so beautiful and stunning. And oh, these babies are something else, honestly. Oh, stunning, beautiful, gorgeous work of art. Love it. All right, time to move out. Okay, sweet baby angel, goodbye, good luck. I am going to give you a little bit of money. I don't normally do this, but I feel like we're doing okay with money at the moment, and I'd really feel a little bit better if she didn't start off with zero dollars and no place to live. Let's give her a grand and she does with it what she does with it, okay? I feel better about that. Oh, look at her. She's so beautiful. You're going to have no trouble succeeding in the world. Good luck, Angel. Love you. Oh, my goodness. I've just loaded back in and April's having a little flirt first with a – almost called him Clayton then, Caden. <laughs> and she's got the option to have first kiss. I just saw it. Where did it go? First kiss. All right, let's go for it. Oh, I love this. I love I love that they've come together and found each other by themselves. Like, we didn't even try and set this up. She did this all herself. She found a boy she liked on the street and she got there. I just, that makes me so happy. I'm so happy for them both. I think that's so cute. And while that was going on, I just got a pop-up saying that Rough Housing Encouraged is now a neighborhood action plan we have. I don't, I, I don't feel great about that. I'm not going to lie. So we might try and get that repealed next episode if I remember. And with that, you guys, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment. We, of course, are going to be having more babies or baby, I'm not sure, next episode. So if you've got any music theme sort of name suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments below for me. As always, guys, stay safe and I'll catch you real soon. Take care. Tag, tag.